ISIL terrorists in Iraq have abducted dozens of men from a Sunni village north of the capital, Baghdad. Witnesses say the incident happened after villagers burned down one of the insurgents' positions along with the militant's flag in the village of Khalali. The terrorists have also executed at least 70 civilians in the northern city of Mosul. Officials say the victims were mostly Kurds and Turkmen Shias. Earlier on Thursday, officials in Iraq's Kurdistan region said they discovered a mass grave in Suleiman Bek, east of Tikrit in the north. The bodies apparently belonged to truck drivers who were kidnapped five months ago by the Takfiri militants. Well, to discuss that further, and I joined with Dr. Matar Matar, who is a political commentator who is joining us live now via Skype from New York. Now, Dr. Matar, whenever we hear about these uh, continuing ISIL atrocities against civilians, soldiers, or whoever, um, we always wonder, you know, uh, which forces are backing this group at this moment that is being able to carry out all these atrocities and continues to do so. Yes, uh, actually, uh, uh, it's the same as uh, whenever you corner a cat, uh, you expect to scratch you. And uh, apparently the uh, ISIS were uh, bitten uh, uh, heavily and fiercely recently uh, in, in uh, Talafar and in al Mosul area. Um, they lost uh, big, big names uh, in their leaders. Uh, one of them is considered the um, right arm of Abu Bakr baghdadi um, uh, Abu Hajar Suri is called Abu Hajar Suri, and uh, other uh, Abu Allah al Iraqi and Abu uh, Abdul Wahab Saudi, who is uh, considered the mastermind of the uh, mining the buildings in, in uh, for, for ISIS. And uh, we we have to remember also the uh, accusation for those people who were uh, kidnapped. Uh, they were. Uh, all of them are from uh, Al Jabur uh, tribe, uh, which is considered uh, by ISIS as uh, one of the awakening uh, uh, forces in Iraq, uh, which was established back in 2006, I believe. And um, they were uh, like beaten also by ISIS I, since that day. Um, and, and we uh, we remember uh, Abu Risha was kid, like assassinated uh, just next day after he met um, George W. B. Bush in September 2007. So uh, the the Sunni tribes actually uh, the, the, this this uh, factor is the most important factor for IS, uh, ISIS. Uh, they are the weakness of ISIS. Uh, we know that the. Uh, airstrikes from the Iraqi army and from the American uh, forces uh, is, uh, are, are very helpful in component, like in component with the uh, uh, ground missions from the uh, Iraqi army and the Kurdish Peshmerga. Um, so they were hit, in, uh, very, they, they were hit very uh, uh, fiercely in, in uh, recent days, and this is why. But when we think about um, the reason why they kidnap, they might, they might, of course, execute them uh, because uh, we we saw that uh, recently in Aramadi, uh, they executed uh, 16 Iraqi, and those are Sunnis as well, and they uh, executed uh, 14 uh, in Mosul. So we don't know exactly if they're gonna uh, extort uh, for their uh, for their those uh, people blood or. They're going to uh, just uh, uh, retaliate for their defeat in Tal Ali uh, after the, what the people uh, did in the Tal Ali. They burned the ISIS flag. So it, it could be actually uh, also a revenge of this action. And um, they want to just uh, uh, execute those uh, 14 guys. But uh, also uh, we have to know that... Uh, the uh, uh, ISIS ha has raised uh, a lot of money recently uh, from ransoms, uh, from hostages, and um, they might ask for uh, ransom for those people. And uh, we, we know, uh, like according to Telegraph, they, they uh, reported recently about uh, $66 million um, oh, have been uh, uh, raised uh, last year. Uh, by ISIS only from 
Branson. So uh, we we have we have here a very uh, developing situation. Uh, the more ISIS uh, 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 survives, the more uh, eradicating it will be uh, a very hard mission. So, uh, right, Dr. Matar, if I could just come in here, we just we just have a, a minute or so left. So I wanted to get your your opinion uh, when we speak about the the financing, and obviously, as you said there at the end. Um, ISIS is making a lot of money now from ransom money, but before that, when yes. it was when it was founded, essentially, it was a lot of the Persian Gulf countries, and the funding came from private donors. Um, there was even that famous picture, of course, of John McCain sitting with Abdu Abu Bakr al Baghdadi as well, uh, speaking to him privately. So I'm wondering, um, what about those sources of income? The fact that those people started this entire thing off, have they lost control? Do you think? Yeah, uh, this is a very good question. Actually, uh, uh, the, 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 the start of ISIS was, of course, uh, in help with uh, a lot of uh, Gulf state uh, uh, support financially, and uh, on, uh, not only financial, but the recruiting uh, foreign fighters as well, because just uh, in, in uh, July, uh, uh, their uh, expectation, they, they uh, about uh, 6,000 uh, foreign fighters uh, were recruited in ISIS. Uh, and compared to uh, 2006, October 2006, only uh, 40 foreign fighters were recruited in ISI, according to um, the Sinjar record. But uh, I, I disagree with you about this uh, point of um, meeting with uh, Abu Bakr Baghdadi and uh, the uh, John McCain. Uh, actually, I, I don't believe that that guy who is is personally is uh, um, uh, Abu Bakr Baghdadi, but um, the point of financing is very important. Uh, and recently, the UN has has listed um, a few names, and this is not a lot. Uh, this is not enough um, by um, uh, Saudi names um, and Kuwaiti names. Uh, one of them is the Hajjaj Al Ajami. And he's uh, actually a very big name in financing and recruiting uh, foreign fighters. Uh, but he actually more active with a Nusra front, but uh, other names were listed okay, on that note, I do apologize, Dr. Matar. It seems that time has gotten the best of us. But of course, we do sincerely appreciate you speaking to us. Maybe we can continue this conversation at a later date. But as I said, we do appreciate you speaking to us. That was Dr. Matar Matar speaking to us live from New York.